Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when swelling within a tightly enclosed area of the wrist, known as the carpal tunnel, puts pressure on the median nerve that passes through it. Over time, this can cause progressive numbness, tingling, and weakness where the median nerve sends its branches to the palm and fingers of the affected hand. A tough band of tissue called the transverse carpal ligament stretches across the wrist forming the roof of the carpal tunnel. A carpal tunnel release is a surgical procedure in which this band is cut, releasing pressure on the nerve and relieving the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. There are two ways to perform the surgery. In the traditional open procedure, your surgeon will begin by making a single incision in your palm and wrist. He or she will then dissect through the underlying tissues to reach the transverse carpal ligament and cut it, thus creating more room for the median nerve. A newer minimally invasive technique requires only two tiny keyhole incisions or puncture wounds rather than a single relatively large incision. It is designed to produce a shorter and less painful recovery period. The procedure begins when your surgeon uses sharp instruments called trocars to make two small openings or ports in your wrist and the palm of your hand. Your surgeon will then insert a fiber optic device into the wrist port. Images from its camera are magnified and projected onto a video monitor in the operating room. Using instruments passed through the other port, your surgeon will cut the transverse carpal ligament. At the conclusion of either procedure, the wounds are closed with sutures.